this, says Syrian state TV, is what Homs looks like the day after the army defeated the opposition. Lots of broken buildings, lots of unoccupied rooms, the debris of life scattered all over the place. The damage, they say, was the work of armed terrorist gangs, not bombardment by the Syrian army. But crucially, it's quiet, and the people they spoke to suggested it was getting safer to go outside. No, there are no armed groups here. I was here on the street. I went to buy some bread from the bakery. We've been trapped here for one full month. Still, other pictures coming out of Homs after Friday prayers suggest that parts of the city will not lie down and surrender, even if, for now, the fighting stopped. Big crowds in several locations. The occasional plume of smoke suggesting all is not completely quiet. One of the journalists who's borne witness to the siege of Babama described the courage of the people there. Very small place, the amount of shelling is really high. We're talking about 200, 300 rockets and uh, explosions per day in a 12 square kilometer enclave with 20,000 people and no shelter at all. So the possibilities of getting hit was really, really high. And then Everything was running out, nothing. There was no bread, no water, nothing, nothing, nothing. The victory for the government over the free Syrian army in Homs may have been the reason why the state is allowing a large aid convoy into Babama to provide medical support, food and water. That operation will happen throughout Friday, presumably under the watching eyes of the Syrian army, which now controls most of the streets. The Red Cross would just like them to stay out of the way while they treat the injured. You need a minimum of security um, conditions to operate safely and to organize these evacuations safely. Hardly surprising aid workers are worried about safety when things like this turn up. It's not clear when it happened, though it's said to be in Rastan, just up the road from Homs. After several viewings, the best guess seems to be that some kind of rocket has been fired into the crowd from across the road. As people make a run for it, the camera turns left to show several people blown to pieces in the corner. Even protesting undercover is a lethal business in Syria. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.